and we are recording. So uh, uh, we just had our introductions and uh, we have uh, 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 Adam uh, 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 coming in here with interest in a social ledger and uh, uh, the rest of us, Certainly. the rest of us uh, part of the uh, hollow chain uh, and dig, dig life or uh, uh, and or our chain uh, cooperatives. Um, uh, do you have any questions for us uh, at this point, uh, Adam? Well, it would. I would uh, like if someone could give me a. Um, perhaps it, like a two minute summary of what the social ledger is and, and what the unique function that, that it, it, it can perform is, what its unique offering is. Uh, you're muted, Jim. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, two minutes is a, uh, is, is a little bit, but uh, uh, oh, it can be five, five minutes, ten minutes, as as long as uh, you know, as long as you've caught. <laughs> yeah, well, or as long as you off, require. I'll start off uh, lightweight, and we'll see what uh, we'll, then we'll try to field questions about it. Yeah, but uh, no, it, it's based on the premise of working out loud, so that. We can see all the activities and who's involved in the organization and in our in our groups. Um, the conversation is the work as part of uh, the the concept of uh, uh, of uh, we are what we do. Everything we do and say develops our identity and our reputation and. Uh, by having a scaffolding of social objects, which are the things that connect us, uh, the activities that connect us, um, uh, uh, there's a, a, a framework for uh, being able to uh, 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 make it easy uh, for uh, us to self-organize and uh, we in the communication environment we have the slash dig command which lets us in the flow uh, define and uh, commit to activities uh, knowing what everyone's doing um, within the flow okay if we look at the digital life collective um, We see uh, the uh, oops. Uh, uh, you know, this is a live uh, picture of the collective, the, uh, uh, and it shows all the domains or teams, and these correspond to our Mattermost teams, and uh, and. Uh, 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 so we have, uh, uh, I guess we could just jump around at random here, uh, I don't know what this is. This is the technology crew, and within the technology crew we have the uh, website crew, we have the tech we use crew, uh, uh, we have uh, a launch uh, email campaign screw. Okay, so we can go into this and uh, uh, we can see there's a new activity here, uh, which uh, so far uh, Michael and Yakim have committed to to offer a Mattermost hosting service uh, within the collective that would be somewhat facilitated. Uh, in that we would help people uh, 
set up and run it actually within the Cloudron service. But um, uh, so um, uh, this works in the Mattermost uh, setting. And we have uh, basically the slash dig command, which gives us our key links and tools that we use. Um, we have slash dig team, which shows us the teams, the roles, and the level of the people participating in the circle. Uh, we, uh, the social ledger doesn't enforce anything. We generally use it, like to have a guide and describe in every channel has its own team. And, you know, when two people want a, want a channel, it's created and by default, they become guides and scribes to that team. And, um, um, we can, uh, And it's open. It's any. It's a. It's a trust relationship. Anybody can really do anything. Social ledger. Can you uh, please define what a guide is and what a scribe is in this context? Um, yeah. I mean, if we go through that article that I had up there, um, um, we'll get a little definition. It's really pretty vague. Okay. The the. Um, uh, uh, I should go back to it, to the uh, to the article to give it directly, but we can see, for example, we can see Ian here, and we can see who, who he's connected to and how strongly to the social ledger, and uh, we can see uh, Ian. Are you in? You're in. You're a Dig Life member. I I didn't know I was, but uh, I'm happy to be. I guess. <laughs> that's that's. Uh... That's not see H J and there's oh. No, the that's H that's H the uh, Dividal. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I see uh, I see your Mattermost. Um, I see a bot in there. Yeah, that's that's the uh, the R chain. No, it's uh, that's spanning it. more. Yeah, and you know you can see this guy out here is not connected. Actually, he's probably somebody. Uh, or something. Um, but uh, I, well, here I am, because I'm majorly connected to everyone. But um, uh, let me get out of this. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, and uh, we have. Uh, We have activities, and I'll just list them all here with a big A. Uh, may I ask, where will I find this article? Is it the is it the Tech We Trust website? In Tech We Trust website? Uh, yes. And uh, right. Thanks. Uh, I will. Uh, I will put the uh, uh, the article. Oops. What do they do? Um, I guess I got to go back, huh? The social ledger. I'll just uh, stick it uh, right into the channel here. Cool. Thanks. Um, I'll just stick it in there for now. Um, and, you know, that needs to be put more. Uh, this page uh, is pretty complete. And uh, I assume you're in this channel because you got the notice of the uh, meeting. <laughs> oh, yeah, that that's right. I've also been in contact with 
both Gary and with Robert, both of whom I'm going to be having calls with. And um, I, I'm also the person who created the uh, Hollow Reach Hollow Chain Outreach Channel. And Anders has suggested that the social ledger could be very relevant to what we where we go with the Hollow Chain Outreach. So yeah, I, I'm interested in this for a whole bunch of reasons. Okay, uh, the Hol Hollow Ring out Outreach is in the is in the Hollow Chain matter most. Yeah, yeah, I created that channel myself. And uh, it's the uh, uh, Hollow Chain Outreach. Yeah. Cool. Glad to have you on board. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, so if we look at the team here. Uh, uh, we see that we have uh, three participants, and if we look at the uh, activities. Uh, we have the social ledger on hollow chain. Okay, well, there's another link there. Um, there's a, a, a draft page on digital life about this that you have to find. Mm, yeah, I, I plan to uh, proofread and, and yeah, do give offer suggestions on all of those documents when I find the time. So, um, you know, uh, in one sense, the social ledger is only like 3% complete. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, we're at a stage where we're adding identity and metadata associated with uh, social objects, which is anything on the ledger. <laughs> okay. Great. Uh, Exciting uh, stuff. Okay, so, um, uh, and you know, in that metadata, we're gonna define the behavior of behaviors of the social objects in, a, in an almost user programming manner where you can define uh, uh, activities and, 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 and uh, extend your permissions to others in an activity uh, to perform certain actions outside of the ledger. The le there's really nothing in the ledger. It's just the scaffolding that hooks together all the other tools that we use. Um, in our chain, uh, most of our activity is through GitHub. So act actions in the social ledger link to GitHub issues. And we would like to put social ledger buttons on the GitHub page also, so that wherever mm. you are, you're interacting with the social ledger. And Great. Uh, uh, you know, adding to the metadata and the history of the social objects. Um, Great. So with that, um, uh, uh, what questions do you have? Well, I think that I need to spend some time, you know, reading through all of the documents myself. And uh, as I said, I'm going to be I'm meeting with Robert tomorrow and I'm going to schedule a meeting with Gary. So, yeah, I'll pick up. I'll I'll get a grasp of this over over time. Yeah, and <laughs> I, feel, I don't want to take. Feel free to. I don't want to take. Oh, yeah, that that would be great. That would be great. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't want to take up too much time of you know this this meeting so please um yeah get, get, maybe move on to other stuff now and, and and i'll connect with you individually also that would be fantastic okay just to go over briefly um topics that have been uh, brought up um the onboarding and facilitation uh integrating the social ledger with discord for our chain uh, is sort of requirement 
uh, our chain selected Discord as a uh, as a chat mechanism, and so uh, we have a high priority of uh, doing an integration between uh, the social ledger and Discord. Uh, one of the issues is that the uh, social ledger is written in PHP, and uh, as it stands now, uh, and uh, we need a resource resources uh, to help us with PHP uh, uh, or uh, any of these integrations right now. Uh, uh, Telegram and Matrix are other targets so that you can work in any environment and uh, uh, being able to set up bridges between channel is something we do manually now. We want to add that capability in the social ledger uh, so that, you know, if you want to participate in a channel that's on Matrix or Telegram, you can link it to your Mattermost or whatever you're using locally uh, and bridge the two. Uh, and uh, with what we're doing with identity is we're keeping, in essence, keeping track of your membership in all the different servers you belong to. We currently have uh, four or five different Mattermost servers that are participating in the trial. So we have four or five different activities that, um, uh, that people can participate in. And we need to, uh, uh, we need to uh, uh, know, you know, as someone uh, traverses the social ledger, and this is the dashboard, uh, which right now you could, it has uh, identity information in the URL, which is not the way to do it. Um, uh, it's a little slow here. Or are there no activities here? There's activities. Huh. Beautiful photo. Stunning. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we have to uh, clear our file cache when there's been an upgrade to the software. Uh, but here we can see all of the uh, all of the different teams that are in the uh, trial, our chain and. Uh, we can look in, for example, community governments in our chain. This is another way besides the holistic, the holonic diagram that you can access the social ledger. And um, uh, this includes uh, links into the Mattermost channel where the discussion is happening. If you want to go there, uh, you can... Uh, 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 change your commitment level in a uh, 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 in an activity. Um, you can uh, archive or delete the activity, um, and you can see this activity is a document. Uh, whereas this is an action, and uh, I'm participating in the governance committee, committee, so I should uh, should show some uh, activity there. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, look at that, Gary. Why do you have that pointing to Zoom? Did I do that? Yeah, I noticed that before, but um, uh, that was right before a meeting. You put this in, but of course, after the meeting, uh, taking, taking people to the Zoom session is it too uh, useful? Oh, sorry. Uh, I I need. We probably need to take all of those out of there because we have the new governance domain. I just put a link to the governance domain anyway. 
I'll just delete this for now, not for now. But uh, yeah, we need to have a link in here to the governance domain. Um, but uh, I, I guess my point is, uh, was that uh, uh, in order to, uh, for us to handle uh, when somebody enters the art chain Mattermost instance, it has to use their identity from that instance. And so uh, we'll be uh, uh, keeping uh, membership information on all the different servers that a person participates in. Uh, I'm not sure why that's important right now, but uh, 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 the uh, uh, also in the identity with the permissions where. Uh, creating a self-sovereign identity that the user controls and uh, what gets exposed um, uh, uh, the objective is what gets exposed to the outside world about a user and about their activities is under their control and right now uh, uh, when you're involved in an activity, what you have listed as your full name in Mattermost is what's displayed to the world. So if you want to use a, a pen name or anonymous, you do so by setting your full name in Mattermost to something obscure. Uh, 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 another project that we're starting is the MetaMaps integration. And uh, uh, Robert's going to set up a channel, uh, a uh, team in the Mattermost, uh, in the uh, Hollow Chain Mattermost. So um, this would, uh, uh, I, I'm, uh, or that's what Gary and I discussed before. Um, so in the hollow chain mattermost instance, we would actually uh, uh, set up a new team here uh, for metamaps. And I'm not an admin and I, I don't have permission to add it, but uh, Robert does. And then uh, like the uh, uh, like the uh, 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 the other channels here, uh, he can uh, go to integrations and have it point to um, the uh, social ledger instance of the trial of the social ledger, and we can use that there. And uh, it's one of the things that we. Uh, uh, might do here if we have time at the end or at some other time. And um, uh, I guess the other thing might be is uh, uh, is there a team or application that you would like to uh, try uh, use with the uh, uh, social ledger, Adam? Well, as I said, Anders has suggested to me that, well, basically we need to wait, we need to work out a way of coordinating the Holochain outreach. So the purpose of the Holochain outreach channel is to share information and ideas about individuals and groups who can either help us to promote Holochain in the first instance or who we would like to see as uh, user groups of uh, Holochain. Um, so we, it's basically a discussion group about that and Anders has, and, and we're still at the stage of working out what platform we want to use to collate and collect 
that information and and has, has suggested that um, the social ledger could be a part of that. Okay, so I'll just put the link in here. <coughs> and sorry, a question on that. Is that more to do with sort of coordinating tasks that we're taking on? Or that's also sort of mapping out people that we want to reach out to and sort of strategizing about that sort of thing? Well, I I'm not formally part of the communications team. Um, although I would like to start to establish slightly, you, you know, slightly more links with the communications team. So it, it really is the latter, um, helping, encouraging an open conversation about how we can get the word out in the first instance. You know, like I have suggested that we reach out to people like Joe Rogan um, and other big YouTubers who have got a huge web presence who could really broadcast this information to many, many people. Um, and so that's one aspect. So if, if you look at the, I, I listed, uh, I think four different categories of, of, uh, of people who we could reach out to right the way from like famous YouTubers, popular YouTubers, uh, at the posts that are pinned at the top of the Holochin Outreach Channel, right the way from, um, you know, popular, successful YouTubers, um, uh, such as Shots of Awe and Joe Rogan, right the way through to, um, you know, like religious fundamentalist communities um, who, who don't like technology, <laughs> which is slightly tongue-in-cheek, but I'm, I'm just making a point that, you know, let's have this really broad, wide open conversation about how we can reach all, every single group. That's uh, very interesting. I mean, certainly something uh, I think uh, all the projects we're involved with <laughs> are trying to do and we hopefully we can learn from each other. Um, mm -hmm. I think that uh, uh, the uh, uh, one of the things that uh, uh, can be done is uh, uh, we create uh, can create link links between organizations uh, using the social ledger. Um, uh, at this point, like the uh, uh, the dig life link. I love the uh, uh, the uh, the notation they use here uh, to show the working groups and to show the connections. Um, uh, yeah, that shows the bridge. I like that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, the, uh, uh, the other, uh, the other project that, uh, uh, uh is down the road a little bit is, uh, uh, the investigation of using the R chain rolling uh, to uh, control processing on hollow chain. And uh, uh, the R chain uh, is based on process calculus, um, specifically the row calculus. Uh, mobile asynchronous communicating process calculus, which describes the behavior of networks like the internet and decentralized applications like hollow chain. Uh, and uh, uh, it allows us to define behavioral types which enforce behavior on the network uh, really uh, uh, 
if you uh, are building a system and you specify a behavior that excludes deadlocks, if the code will allow a deadlock, it won't compile in Rolex, for example. Okay, it handles erase conditions and other things that in a decentralized application that generally screw up and cause things like the DAO uh, hack and uh, 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 problems with other decentralized applications where you really get no guarantee what order things are done. The row calculus gives you a way of uh, declaratively constraining the behavior of the network uh, uh, to the behavior that you're giving it. And is there any simple int introductory material on how that works, Jim? Yes, uh, we've got we've got some uh, papers. We can uh, we can uh, give you links to that. That would uh, be great. I find useful to 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 learn about the the Pi calculus and uh, mobile process calculi. And I I think these are are, are something that that uh, we all need to be start taking into consideration in these projects. But uh, the good news is uh, uh, our chain is there and it's, it's going to be there when we need it. Great. Yeah. If, uh, if you could share me any links you've got that yeah. helps make this stuff comprehensible, I'd be very grateful. Yeah. Same for me. Is, is it on the Archain website or other links? Uh, I have quite a few links on the, um, on the dig life uh, matter most, but I can I can move a, a few good links to a, a channel on uh, uh, DiviDAO. In fact, uh, our our matter most our our, our chain um, DiviDAO platform can have, can host all of those documents, and that's one thing I'd been wanting to put over there. So uh, we could do that, but you could also find many of them on the the R chain website. I, I just I just like to direct people to the ones I think would be most useful to you rather than trying to read everything. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. The, That's uh, very useful. Yeah, I put the link in the chat to the um rolang.rchain.coop or which is you can get there with rolang.org, um, which uh, gives an introduction. Um, and it may be a little bit uh, uh, there may be some uh, better uh, uh, introductions around that, uh, than this page. So uh, uh, so Gary, you know, please uh, do uh, uh, yes, great. And then you know, getting your reaction to this page also can help our chain maybe improve it. So if uh, this was helpful, <laughs> you can let us know. Uh, I guess the other thing I'd add is I'm not in the Divi DAO or I forget where you said you'd share the link, so I don't think I'm in that matter. Most. Well, you can, uh, we could just give you a link to those. You can uh, register yourself. They're open, yeah, uh, open platform. I think he's talking about the uh, on the Divi DAO of Mattermost. We have the uh, the uh, social uh, uh, ledger lab trial main uh, main uh, uh, channel, which I believe you're a part of. Uh, maybe not. Uh, but uh, this is the this is the, this is the main channel of the. Uh, Jim, you're you're not sharing your screen. Could me and Robert simply uh, receive invites to the um, to that particular team also, and and then I guess we'll be able to access all of the information there. Yeah, the the um, uh, the links are uh, 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 in the uh, uh, the social ledger trial document. Um, right. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'll be reading all of that in, in due place anyway. The yeah. links and the invites for every, everyone participating in the 
in the trial as well as that main link, uh, the main uh, channel. Uh, and I just posted an invite in the chat here as well. Cool, great. So if, you're, if you're not, a, if you are a member, it'll just take you to the channel. Uh, if you're not, um, it will. Uh, uh, you'll have an opportunity to join, and then you can then you can join uh, any uh, any of the uh, trial communities on the matter most uh, on this instance of matter most. Um, right. Which, and that, that those do, that those don't include the R chain instance, but uh, we R could also. R chain has a separate instance, but they have to sign on again. And uh, Dexstack has their own instance. I have to sign on. Uh, uh, and Platform Co-op Investment Club. Have, uh, well, they're not in the trial, but. Uh, if we, uh, uh, I'm curious. Do do you all use the uh, the Mattermost uh, app, or do you just run the the web browser? I'm using the app when I can uh, on my smartphone. Depends what <coughs> if I use or just use the the net on my uh, laptop though. Yeah. I, uh -huh. I, I have the Windows app, but it's you know I I you know I, I guess I'm ingrained in using it, but uh, 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 it does have problems, and um, I think using the web on the PC is uh, especially with the social ledger is better because when you get one of these graphs, you can just exit out of it and you're back in Mattermost. <laughs> Uh, rather than going back between the Mattermost client and the web browser all the time. Yeah, I used the web browsers a long time until until uh, we started having so many different Mattermost uh, instances, and then the 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 PC app became much more useful. I I don't like to use the the phone app for Mattermost much at all, but uh, I, I have it when. On occasion, yeah, I was going to say I use the web app with separate tabs for each server, at, just because I have a lot of Chrome extensions that I don't really want to lose, just because I'm uh, using the desktop app. Yeah, I think that's what you have. The way to do it is to keep a uh, uh, keep a separate window open with all your Mattermost tabs. It's convenient. If you're like me and you have too many tabs to mix them all together. Um, so, um, uh, one, one thing I guess I could show a little demo if you like of sort of the MetaMaps bot that we have right now and how it works. I, I'm guessing nobody's seen it, but um, something I can do if you like. Yes, yeah, so I would love to see that. Yeah, listen, that was one of the things that, you, uh, that should have been on the list. <laughs> yeah, I my intention was to to go look at the GitHub repo, but uh, I kind of wanted to see it before I went and looked at the repo. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I think I can share. <coughs> are you seeing? What are you seeing? Are you seeing? Uh, The Slack I'm in or no? Oh, you're muted. Yeah, yeah that's, that's Slack. Okay, so yeah, currently it's a Slack bot and you'll, you'll notice here, uh, actually I can do something similar, like, um, which I think I can just say help anywhere. So these are the MetaMaps bot sort of uh, built-in commands. And you'll see earlier I said set map so you can set the map that you're currently um, mapping to from chat and then it'll reply with sort of um, a link to that map you'll see if i open it up um, 
take a second. This is the meta map that we're on, uh, currently tied to this channel. And then if I say do something like, uh, I think the code is like a new idea. And then we've actually put in custom reactions for all the um, meta maps uh, that we call the meta codes, but they're sort of like node types. So if I look through here, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Um, to see when I send this message, uh, it confirms that it's created on the map. And then when I look over here, um, it's a little hidden here, but here's the new idea. Um, so you can sort of add to the map from the chat. And the newest features is actually the facilitation features of the, the bot. Uh, so Connor was just showing me this last night. And you'll see here that when a facilitator is running some sort of um, process or something, the bot will actually go to each person that the facilitators included in the process and speak with them directly. So you kind of have a session where you're talking back and forth just with the bot. Wow. So yeah, you hear how it works. Uh, it sort of asks certain questions um, and provides context like, uh, what's the coolest app we could decentralize? And then the facilitator is inviting idea responses. So then anything I say to this bot in that open period is then is then mapped. So that's kind of how this bot or how this map got created, and the the, the relationships are sort of created for you automatically as well. And then the facilitator has the ability to sort of change the focus of the conversation, and um, all of this is sort of dynamic. And um, yeah, there, there's actually a lot we could do here because um, uh, I don't know. I'm assuming most of you haven't played on meta maps, but it's a little bit more real time collaborative than most other concept mapping tools out there. Uh, so if one of you, or I could share here, I'll share this. I can share an invite if you want to join the platform. Uh, where's the chat go now? Um, and if you log in and sign on, I'll actually see where your pointer is on the screen. And we can collaboratively move topics around and make connections and that sort of thing. And, and there's also, a, with each map, there's kind of a live uh, chat session here. And technically, we use kind of uh, WebRTC, so you, we could do on-map uh, webcam sessions as well, where you see little little uh, nodes on the screen, or not nodes, like little portholes on the screen where you see each other's faces as you're mapping together. But yeah, it, in terms of social ledger, I think this is kind of where it ties in. It's very similar. They're interacting more in a text-based way with either a bot or some other slash commands or something like that. And uh, yeah, in, in the same way that you're sort of producing what I, I've heard you call social objects in the same way when you're sort of, uh, responding to the bot in this way, you're sort of creating data and sharing that in kind of a common pool of data that can be interoperable in many different ways. Um, yeah, that, that's cool. Is, is it uh, JavaScript? Is the bot written in JavaScript? Um, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I can share also the, where is it here? The, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, is it, we, have, we have the uh, link in the collaboration channel. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Yeah, it's all open source. So if you go to MetaMaps on GitHub, there's the MetaMapper, which is the bot that I just showed you, and then MetaMaps itself is also open source. Super. Yeah. I think we're, we're all looking for these tools that help us uh, collaborate and coordinate better on these, you know, big decentralized projects. Yeah, and this, this facilitator stuff is kind of very, very new. Actually, Connor's working, I think, with the group in the uh, University of uh, Sydney. And so they have kind of a whole class that is um, maybe participating in a trial of, of, of this as well, where you have facilitated sort of very dynamic data creation spaces. That, that's great. Hey, watch out a little bit with Slack. Uh, we had a, we had some problems with uh, with our chain, and other of the large open Slacks are running into this issue where Slack is no longer really supporting um, open enrollment. They've added some limitations. So if you're paying for Slack, it's not a problem. But if you're just using it for you know a community of thousands, uh, it you might have to leave Slack and find something else, Mattermost or Rocket Chat, whatever. Yeah, I think that's the intention is to sort of shift more to Mattermost, especially since it'll mean we can collaborate with social ledger stuff as well and find where these two things sort of merge. Sounds right. I don't know if you'd be interested in working with the uh, 
MetaMap's Mattermost integration in JavaScript, the uh huh. Well, I mean, for for our chain, uh, you know, our our president decided on Discord, but we have uh, we have people using every different platform, and they're welcome to use whichever one they they like. So, hey, if we can get things working better in Telegram or in Mattermost, then uh, you know, well, it's kind of majority rule. We'll see. Yeah. And, uh, uh, sorry. Oh, go on. Now, I was just going to say, I, I just met uh, Matthew Schulte mm -hmm. just uh, the weekend before last at the Platform Cooperative uh, um, Conference in New York City. And that was, that was, that was really great. Cool. I, I interacted. So, I uh, talked with him a lot at IIW. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we have to get him into Mattermost. <laughs> <laughs> Hollow Chain has their, you know, it, uh, has their Mattermost, but I'm uh, not sure why Matthew's not in it. <laughs> well, he, he, he is. We, we sort of have multiple different ones. One's sort of just for the core team for like actual taking accountabilities on tasks, and then one's more like an open public space. Um, so I know, I'm curious that he might not be on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, sorry. Uh I, I, you have a twin. I think I've joined twice. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, it's just because I'm using I, I'm using my phone. I, I thought it would didn't realize it was gonna do that. <laughs> I just sorry. Um, yeah, I'm, I'd be surprised if Matthew isn't on the public one. But I guess you search for him, so who knows? He, he's pretty busy. He actually just did a Q and A session today um, on Holo on sort of Facebook Live. So that's. Uh, if you were reaching out for him then, you'd probably be busy. Oh, and sorry, I was going to say the other tie-in with Digital Life Collective and Christina, who's not here, is I know she hopes to do kind of a very broad ecosystem mapping project. And this is something that I've been approached from, well, I guess maybe you're saying she's not technically S7, but um, that's kind uh, of the concept. Uh, her, her, name is, her, her name is Amber. Amber. Yes, Amber, yes. Yeah, but, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so... It seems like there's a bunch of different people wanting to do ecosystem mapping projects, and I'm sort of, I'm aware of a few of them. One is less on the tech side and more on the sort of human system uh, kind of self-organizing, uh, organizational development sort of uh, strand of things, and they mm. also want to sort of map out how people are working. So I, I see Social Ledger as kind of an interesting kind of middle point on that. Um, well, it's we're meeting, tech, but it's tech for the new ways of working. Um, we're, yeah. we're meeting about this tomorrow, aren't we? We've got a, a, a call lined up. Yep. Yep. And uh, oh, but the point I was going to make is I think these tools are awesome for for collecting ecosystem mapping type data because mm. uh, you can oh. sort of col collaboratively drawing a whole bunch of, of nodes and points and relations and yeah. Absolutely, we need to do that, don't we? We need to work out efficient ways of gathering this information because it, it's so vast <laughs> no yeah. one is going to be able to just sit down and put it all into a database mm. well that's that's the other thing I social, social ledger is that um we're, we're creating data right and, and you're just talking about how it's like identity and you own your identity but like where is this data residing and how open is, is it because if i do a slash command i don't know currently where that goes in, in the social ledger context um so that, that's, I guess, one question I have. Or... It becomes a bot ecosystem, really, in, you know, in uh, you being able to run your own uh, hook, so to speak, uh, that uh, uh, you control completely, uh, or, uh, or you can delegate that to a, ser a server that you're part of, uh, that you trust. But uh, uh, essentially, uh, we're building uh, uh, the uh, distributed identity IDs uh, for people and other social objects um, uh, uh, in the context where, for each context where they're mentioned. So you, in essence, have a different persona 
it, you may have a different persona in one Mattermost server than another. And um, uh, you can manage those identities. Uh, well, the plan is, is that you can manage them centrally or uh, uh, have one persona that's managed by our chain and another by the Archain server and another percent persona that's managed by uh, Divi or DigLife, who each have the philosophy of giving you a self-sovereign identity. I, I guess this too is where Holochain can kind of come in and provide some help too, because it sort of gives you agency over, over it as well from a kind of more distributed way. So I, I guess I take it that's why you're considering building the social ledger on top of Holochain. Uh, yes, and you know I, we haven't I haven't worked out exactly uh, how we can do that yet. Uh, we're hoping that uh, that works fine, but we're also giving people freedom uh, in the service discovery associated with their distributed identity of using any kind of identity system they want. Uh, to manage this as long as it supports user managed authorizations uh, and uh, 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 you know the uh, uh, OAuth 2 or OpenID whatever uh, uh, so that uh, 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 you can have this single sign on which really is a collection of all your identities in the bring your own identity uh, framework that we're building. Uh, but yes, uh, we're looking at modeling, in, in essence, the identity, which is largely the ledger of what you say and what you do. That's your identity and information uh, and reputation insofar as you expose it. Um, And um, uh, uh, we're looking to uh, put that onto hollow chain uh, and uh, then uh, uh, having that, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the similar structure uh, be uh, uh, imported into our chain uh, uh, as the, uh, your our chain identity at some point. So. Um, ultimately, uh, both the R chain and the Hubble chain will be supported in principle, as well as more traditional web services or web hooks that you can uh, that can uh, uh, manage your identity. But uh, we are we are we, uh, we are over the hour now. Um, uh, uh, I guess there's a, a, a number of uh, uh, Robert is is the uh, is the MetaMaps uh, server open? Um, we have the yeah, metamaps.cc is kind of like a, the main one, like there's other people that host their own instances, but on there we have private public and commons type data. So metamaps.cc is sort of the main one. Yes. Okay. So we, uh, we can, uh, talk to that from Mattermost, assuming that we, um, uh, get, uh, uh, convert the, uh, Slack code to Mattermost. Yeah, and the MetaMapper. Yeah, if if that uh, repo was converted over, then yes. Yeah, I uh, I haven't looked at the code. Uh, uh, in any detail, of the uh, uh, Mattermost API is largely identical to Slack, and I'm hoping that uh, we can uh, trans. 
make it available on Mattermost uh, so that we can combine it with the social ledger uh, uh, fairly easily. And then, of course, they can work separately. Uh, 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 but we can also uh, link them in terms of uh, uh, building meta maps along with the social ledger that we're, you know, the structure that we're building in the Firebase database now. Um, uh, so that uh, uh, we have, uh, in essence, another way. We have the dashboard, we have the Holonic charts, and the uh, MetaMask would give us another potential way of looking at the uh, organizational structure and activities in the organization, as well as the conversations in the channel, which in MetaMaps, we can organize much better than in a linear chat channel in Mattermost. Yeah, and I, and I really only showed you sort of a few basic functions of the MetaMapper. There's actually another neat thing where any anybody, like say me said um, or sent a message and it wasn't actually mapped, anybody in that room can add a reaction onto that message and then it, for them, puts that message into the map. So you, it's kind of more collaborative and it, other people can decide like, oh, this was an idea or this was uh, this type of, of thing. But the other thing I'd mention is that uh, I would say that MetaMaps is just one form of visualization of this data we're collecting and it's, it's not the best in certain situations and there's other tools like Kumu and you, you have your own holonic and other visualizations. So I, I think the data layer is kind of the most crucial. Yeah, and uh, uh, it's a learning thing. Initially, we just uh, integrated. Uh, it, uh, we also have some uh, 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 other uh, Kumu uh, automated integrations we're looking into. Uh, right now, it's, you know, Kumu is great for static pictures of the data. We want to, you know, integrate that with the APIs at real time as well. Uh, but it's a, yeah, it certainly looks like a great tool, and I, you know, I love the things where you, you know, can put up an issue and put up pros and cons, and you know, kind of show the structure of the decision process, uh, 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 which is uh, wonderful. Yeah, and I, I'm sure if, if you wanted to help out with bringing the code over to support Mattermost as well, I'm sure Connor would be happy to sort of help that happen and facilitate and make it make it easy for anybody that wants to dive into that coding to do it. So. Yeah, I hope so because there really there really aren't any comments in the code, so I'm sure I'll have questions. Well, yeah, if you want, I can also organize a kind of call for that, or maybe maybe this is sort of a little mini hackathon of its own to sort of hack uh, the MetaMapper to work on Mattermost. Uh, maybe a well, we, we weekend. Were gonna, we were going to uh, set up a whole team. Now I don't know. Uh, you know what the scope of the team should be, whether it should be broader than meta maps or uh, specifically focused on meta maps. Uh, but uh, uh, the immediate task on hand, I guess, is to is to just take this Slack integration, get that to work on Mattermost, and then plan how we're going to, how we integrate the two. Yeah. Well, the other thing that made sense to me is that we might want to set up a kind of a social ledger lab experiment instance of MetaMaps itself so that we can really get playful with just making almost junk data if we really want and that it's not sort of filling up the, the public MetaMaps server. Yeah, uh, I'll definitely talk to Connor and sort of set up a call and I, I agree that there should be a MetaMaps channel on the Holochain um, server Mattermost. Uh, actually, Connor was the one who introduced me to uh, the meta currency people who are now creating Holochain. So he's already already well networked in that that space. Um, 
yeah, I don't want to start to take over the whole call with, I don't know, I didn't realize we would be even talking about MetaMaps here today, but that's kind of cool. Yeah, well, that was uh, a, a, hot, a hot issue for a few of us have been uh, excited about that potential. So I'm uh, glad we got to cover it. Um, Uh, so, uh, any uh, 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 final final thoughts here? I mean, I can leave the channel open uh, when I leave, but I do have to uh, take off in a few minutes. Uh, thanks very much for being so warm and welcoming, uh, Jim and everyone else. And uh, I look forward to hopefully joining you on future calls. Yes, and we'll set up... Uh, uh, a working session where where you could get down in the weeds with this. There are really only a, only a few commands that that you need to go to town with the social social ledger as it stands right now. And uh, that 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 would be great, Gary. What what I would su what I would suggest then is uh, give me a little bit of time to actually read through all the documents, and then maybe I can set up a call with you, and we can get, get down into the weeds as you put it, and. You can teach me the nuts and bolts of how to actually use it. That would be fantastic. That's great. Yes. And anyone else that wants to join, uh, the, we might do a, a, a hackathon on Social Ledger uh, alongside the hackathon on the, the survey bot. Yeah, I right. Think it, yeah, I think it would be good to... Uh, no, I have these onboarding sessions, so to speak, mm. going yeah. and using it and, you know, figuring out together you know, how, how it is. What are the key activities in a channel? And, uh, you know, should this be a channel or should we set up a whole team for this uh, with many channels? Um, well, that might be an idea because... Um, there's probably enough diversity within this, the social ledger itself to, to warrant multiple channels. Very good. All right. Yeah, uh, I've, I've got to go too, but similar feeling. Definitely nice meeting with you all. Okay. And see you tomorrow, Robert. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay.